the lighthouse at Cap de Higua, the Atlantic Ocean, and I'm just about to start the GR11, which is a six-week adventure through the Spanish Pyrenees to the Mediterranean Sea. So I'm on my way and uh, spent a decent night at the campsite last night uh, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and uh, set off this morning at about quarter to nine. Fair bit of rain during the night, plenty of showers coming off the Atlantic and they seem to be threatening a lot this morning as well but um, they all seem to hit the French coast not the Spanish part so uh, my coat that I was wearing this morning soon came off and this morning I've walked through the towns of Honda Ribia, Iran and now I'm into the uh, the Basque foothills. So this is the first of six videos I'm going to do a video per week it's going to take me six weeks uh, as I've already outlined to get from the Atlantic to the Med and uh, hope you enjoy the journey and uh, the videos that I put together for my uh, my memories.
Well, good morning, and good morning from day four of my GR11 adventure. Um, I've just climbed my first hill of the day. This is the, I'm close to the Colado de Avalo. Um, so yesterday I resupplied in a small bustling town called Elizondo and uh, climbed out of the town um, up to a campsite near a, uh, a water source and um, enjoyed a comfortable night despite the fact that it rained all night and the forecast for today is, is rain for most of the morning and early afternoon. But so far it's holding off, so uh, long may that continue. Uh, the Basque Country, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's very similar to South Wales in many ways. In fact, at times I could be walking through the Wye Valley or through the Brecon Beacons National Park, particularly the Black Mountains. It's that similar and I guess that's because it attracts a fair bit of weather off the Atlantic and it won't be for a few more days before I uh, get into the rain shadow of the Pyrenees where the GR11 is renowned for being the drier side as opposed to the, uh, the French side. So today, uh, continue on over this hill and then uh, several hours to, uh, towards a small town called Bourget. Good morning from day seven of my GR11 adventure. Uh, last night I uh, got to my first campsite of the trip at uh, Ochagavia. So I've done my laundry and uh, everything's nice and clean. Had a great shower. Um, and uh, coming to the end of the first week, um, behind me in this uh, shot are the mountains that I'm walking to in the next few days and uh, when I get to a little town called Izaba I'm going to resupply and buy four days food uh, which will get me through the mountains to Kandachu. So um, 
yeah, really enjoying the trip so far. And uh, yesterday, uh, on top of a mountain called Abodi Occidental Idorokia, <laughs> Uh, I had fantastic uh, views with the clouds swirling around me, um, but what I really particularly enjoyed was the number of griffon vultures that were uh, circling above me. Um, lots and lots of them, and I've seen golden eagles as well on this trip so far. Uh, managed to capture one on video, um, but the vultures were, were quite high, and then when they did come low, it was, it was too quick for me to get the camera on them so uh, but it was uh, it was lovely to see them um yep yeah, so uh, hope you're enjoying watching my videos um as i'm enjoying making them for my memories and uh into week two we go